I'm telling you that there ain't no other way Pack your bags and then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay What's up guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rissa B and I am a research associate at a biotech research company. In today's video, I'm going to try and explain to you a little bit about what my day is like when I'm inside of the lab, when I'm outside of the lab, my hours, the type of place that I work at and things like that. If you are new here, I have been in this role as a research associate for about eight or nine months now. And before this, I was a clinical laboratory tech for about a year and a half at a very, very similar company. It was also a biotech research company as well so I've been in this space for about two years now so I'm just gonna explain to you guys kind of just verbally what my day is like and like I said I will also try and include a couple of clips that way you guys can see and reference what I'm talking about before we jump into the video make sure you're subscribed to my channel that way you don't miss any more videos like this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about anything that you have questions about any videos you want to see in the future or anything you want to talk about also if you do have questions about a resume template how to find jobs ASCP certification different salary ranges make sure you check out the laboratory guide that I have linked in my description box down below or check out any of the other videos on my channel where I'm answering some of these topics. And now that that's out the way, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first things first, the place that I work at. I work at a biotech research company. I don't work in a hospital setting. So my hours are mainly Monday through Friday. I don't work weekends. I don't have any on-call type of shifts or anything like that. It's just Monday through Friday, eight hours a day. And the good thing about working with a company like this is that it's reflective of a nine to five. And so I basically am able to set my own hours as long as I'm working that eight hours a day, like I said. I can come in early and leave early if I have something to do in the afternoon or vice versa. If I have something to do in the morning, I can come in a little bit later and just stay a little bit later as long as I'm, you know, hitting my hours and doing my work. The schedule that I typically set for myself is getting to work between 7, 7 and like 7.30. However, normally I am there by like 7.15 and then I go home between 3.15 and 4 o'clock, obviously depending on what time I get there. So that is the good thing about being in this type of space is that it's very flexible as far as hours and um, not so much your days, because like I said, I work Monday through Friday, but hours, time off as well is another big thing. Because I work in R&D and I'm not in CLIA or in like any other type of setting, especially when you're dealing with direct patient care and patient samples, time off is very easy to take. I've never had my time off denied. I actually just came back from a two week vacation maybe two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago now, and it was no issue at all. Obviously, everyone can't be off the same time, but for the most part, they're very, very lenient about you taking your vacation, having your days off. Um, like I said, coming in early because you might have something to do later on in the afternoon. They're very flexible, very lenient. They want you to have a good work-life balance. Majority of my day does consist of bench work or working in the lab, so, Basically like 80 to 90% of my day consists of that. I actually got a comment um, about two, three weeks ago now asking if majority of my day was hand, like hands-on in the lab or if it was mainly setting up robots and kind of like watching them go and making sure they're not crashing and things like that. For me, I personally am mostly doing, actually not mostly, I'm only doing hands-on. I don't necessarily use any of the robots. Um, I don't think most people use the robots. We use different machines, of course, when we're trying to like measure data, for example, but we're, we don't use any of the robots. Everything we do is manual at this point. So I like to try and get as much as I can ready the day before, whether that's paperwork, pulling out samples, or finding information on samples that I'm going to be using. I like to make sure that I can come in the morning and jump right into my work. I am someone who, like I said, I get there relatively early and I like to jump right into my lab work. I prefer doing all of my lab work first and then doing any other bench work or any other task after I've done that part. And the reason I choose to do this is because if you start your lab work kind of later in the day and you've already been there, say seven o'clock, if something goes wrong, depending on what it is, you'll just end up staying a lot later. And obviously there's not like a big issue with that because if you stay late, you can basically go home early the next day. But if you have plans or something, or you're like really tight for time after work, then that's where like the issue can come in. So I prefer to come in 
in and just jump straight in away with my lab work. And my lab work can vary. It can consist of doing plasma extractions. Some days I will be doing a library preparation. I could be plating samples. I could be doing next generation sequencing. I could be shearing samples, doing DDPCR, or I could be creating samples and trying to test the quality of what I created and making sure it's in range. Like, being in a lab can consist of a lot of things and especially if you are sometimes offered to help other people in the lab. So, you know, it can be a lot of things and like I said, this is all typically hands-on. That is why I kind of like to just start in the beginning of the day because some things take a little longer than others. Some, some things will take two to three hours and then there are some procedures that can take between five to six hours and that's like a good chunk of your day. So I like to kind of come in and get started as, as quick as I can especially if I have to do more than one thing in the day. So just because I'm like doing, for example, um, plasma extractions in the morning, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna like share samples when I'm done. And so again, I just like to do things back to back and just get the lab work out the way. So some days there is only like one thing for me to do in the lab and then there's other days where like I'm doing like two, three procedures in the lab if time allows. When I'm not in the lab, I'm typically at my desk or I'm somewhere sitting where it's like kind of nice and quiet. And the desk work that I do, it can also range just like my lab work can range. So sometimes I will be completing paperwork for things that I've done in the lab, you know, making sure that everything is completed, done correctly, any notes that I needed to break down, I have written down and notated properly. Sometimes I can be at my desk and I will be reviewing paperwork for others and signing off on that so that they can get that filed and placed in the correct spot or I will have tasks assigned to me that I can do while sitting at my desk. So for example, I had a task the other day where um, some sample records needed to be created for some samples that we were going to be working with in the future. Um, it was about um, maybe 10 to 15 samples and each single one needed a record, which included like the name, what's in the sample, any cell lines that's associated with them, the vendor we got the the vendor we got the sample from, the date that a plasma extraction was done on it, and et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of stuff that goes into one of these forms. And so that was something that I could do at my desk once I looked them at my lab work. So yes, when I'm at my desk, that is typically what I'm doing, or I can even be preparing things for a lab. If you've seen some of my previous shorts that I have posted on my channel, then you will know that there are times where I have to create plate layouts for samples, and I will do that at my desk. And then once it's done, I will go downstairs and follow my layout that I created and plate those samples. So different things can be done at your desk you are assigned different tasks and whenever you're doing paperwork that also requires you to scan the paperwork and file it physically and electronically so those are other things that you have to do to keep up with your paperwork and like I said that's not done in the lab other things that I do throughout the day can be meetings so I normally have meetings sometimes like in the morning in the midday and then sometimes in the afternoon morning and midday I'm typically in the lab so I will log on with my computer or like with the laptop that I have with me and I will just set it down while I'm working in the lab. But if I'm done with my lab work for the day, then I will actually go to these meetings and sit in them. And because we are an R&D department, there are a ton of meetings because you're working with different departments to develop this product that you're working with. So we have like data meetings, we have project update meetings, we have Q&A meetings, we have a ton of meetings every week. They're typically the same for the most part and every now and again, you have like company-wide meetings, for example. Also, I have one-on-one -on -one meetings every single week with my manager. It's just a nice check-in um, where she asks like how I'm doing. Um, at work and also like outside of work. She asks how the lab is going. She asks how morale is going, any concerns, any questions that I may have for her. Those meetings happen every week. I just think it's good for your manager to always be making sure that you, yourself, the employee is okay. So if I'm not doing desk work or paperwork and I'm not in meetings, then typically I can be like either at my desk or at someone else's desk and talking. The good thing about being in this type of setting is that you aren't expected to work every single minute of your eight hours that you are there. They do encourage you to take a break, whether you're just sitting at your desk taking a break or whether you're on your lunch break. So it's encouraged. Your managers don't expect you to like just be super focused eight hours straight. They do want you to just take a break and relax them. They don't ever want to overload you with any work that they may need done. But that is all for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Like I said before, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments or check out my laboratory guide that's in the description box. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.